So, how are you feeling? Uh, good. Do you need a head massage before, or are you ready? Do you think you can breathe into it? I think I can breathe into it. I think so. Sure, you look yeah. pretty nice and calm. <sighs> I mean, slightly anxious, but I'm fine. Yeah. But I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I can breathe, yeah. <laughs> if, you need, if you feel like it, I can, I can work your head first. But. Okay. So before I get in with chopsticks or any other tool, I like to work with my hands a bit to get the blood flow happening. I, I want the hands to be warm too before I use a chopstick. Never use a chopstick like on somebody who's got like poor circulation or just their fingers feel cold. It's, it's just too, it's un, really uncomfortable. So, so what about with someone with brain on it's like you can't simply warm up like they... Maybe don't use chopsticks. Really? Maybe. Or gent very gently. Okay. I'm glad that came up. Or use something like the, the you know, like maybe, or, or not, maybe not such a pointed chopstick, you know? Sure. But again, always just work with the person. They'll, they'll tell you, you'll feel, you know? She's actually got quite warm hands, so I'm not too worried about that with her. Um, we got a nice click out of the thumb, double clicker on the thumb joint. So usually when I start pretty early on, after I've sort of warmed up, got a bit of circulation happening, I'll just feel how the, the fingers move. Double click on that, that joint's not moving. That that joint's not moving. That one's not really. Her fingers are actually really tight. Yeah. I was gonna work on her <laughs> thumb. My plan was, oh, I'm gonna work on her thumb, but her thumb actually moved and it doesn't feel so bad. So mm. I'm, I'm thinking I might just change my plan a little bit. Mm. I will do her, her thumb for you guys to show, but actually in terms of treatment, I, I'm actually feeling her fingers need to work. Yeah, I can feel it. You feel yeah. it? Yeah. So again, with a chopstick, don't come in to like a nine right away. You know, kind of build, if you can, build people up to it, you know. But you can, you can figure out what, you know, ask them, how's that out of 10 if 10 is where you're going to tighten up against me? Uh, six and a half. Yeah, so good. Seven. Just, just a, <laughs> you know, going in kind of easy. Holding up. Yep. <laughs> We're getting up there now. So I'm going to sort of now. That's nice. It's like we've attained the altitude when we're taking off on a plane. <laughs> and the good thing, too, with Cindy is that she's a really good breather. <sighs> Remember, don't breathe on people. Especially if you, you know, it's good for you to take deep breaths when you're massaging people. So I just let her have a little rest from that. Maybe even just come in and figure out how the joints are moving sideways. Nice click there. So again, supporting the joint from below and then not going up here where I'm moving two joints at once, but one holding below that first joint and then here below it and changing you know not not too bad overall that little finger is quite good but definitely a stiffness coming that way so we're going to come back to this so i've changed spots now a few millimeters this way
very tight through here. So early on I established kind of what <clears throat> what level of pressure we can kind of work at, what she's ready to receive. And then I keep it there, but sometimes go up and down like in a wave-like motion from sevens to nines, or do something different, especially when I start to feel like, like that feeling like it's getting a bit much for her. So that's when you, you just, you won't hold it. Too long yeah, or ease it off maybe from a nine to a seven. Got a nice little click out of there. You just don't want that build up, you know, where a person starts to feel like that. If you start to sense that, calm it down, you know. So like an ocean wave, you know. You can take them up there, but don't keep them up there. Already, geez, she's <laughs> so. Like, like kind of like the ultimate in how to release a finger really quickly kind of thing, you know? <laughs> but it's also fantastic breathing, okay? Very deep. And of course, she's been watching my YouTube channel for a long time, so very much a green light. Look at the pressure I'm getting in there now. And I don't need to go much harder. This is enough pressure to find and get rid of almost anything that's in there. And there is a little bit. It's not like I got, just because she can handle it, I go harder and harder and harder. No, I reach a certain point and that's, that's at the level of depth that nothing can kind of hide at. And here I'm definitely feeling some tightness in there. In which case I'm gonna come back here and just work this a bit more. And I can go, look at the level, I'm going a lot deeper now before I hit her like nine, because it's getting uncharged very quickly. And the reason it's uncharging very quickly is because she's breathing so well. So I'm bringing awareness to her tension, and she's got that big breath. And it's a belly breath, very much so. Watch her belly rise and her chest. Just the whole, she's just, really it's a, a, what I call a great breath to work with well I'm getting in so just to the very bottom layer very quickly Oh, so I got to that first joint. Now I'm just hitting, but because I've lo loosened it up here, I can get in there deep and, mm -hmm. but you can see how it's, it's getting quite thick, the band now, like, like a, almost as thick as the chopstick. Do you mean expanding? <laughs> Like, is it loosened well, to kind of expand? No, it, no it, from the tip of the finger, it's very, very narrow, like, like that, you know? Or I can't even quite, you know? And then it gets like that and it gets wider and wider and wider as you go, like, into the legs and stuff. So the bands come from, like, almost, like, smaller than a millimeter to, to you know, almost a centimeter wide as you get into the legs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me to translate that into inches <laughs> and things. Like, I like, wouldn't have a clue. 16th or a 32nd of an inch to half an inch, I don't know. But you guys know that little bit, like metric, don't you? Millimeters and centimeters? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm feeling really, really, really happy with this fi finger, okay? Look at the movement we're getting into that now. You know, you can feel the difference, mm -hmm. wow. But so quick. So I haven't done this side that much, so I'm gonna come and do that. Oh. Put an early 
to sleep last night. Pretty good, yeah. I went to sleep before her. I was in bed at seven. <laughs> I would have slept just through till seven if it hadn't been the stupid carbon monoxide alarm went off at one. I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? You know, like the battery was dying or something in the Airbnb, and I'm like, what the fuck? Then it took me a while to get back to sleep, and then I didn't wake up till seven. I was tired. Yeah, so we're hitting some stuff here. So I'm just watching her breath, and then just bringing her awareness to it. I'm just gonna hold that. So I tend to change the type of movements I do with the chopstick as I come down the finger. Like here, I'm more like holding, letting her breathe into it. But as I come down here, I'm more flicking over it. Mm. And that helps it to let go if I've released it from here. Mm. Does uh, it matter what side you're taking? <clears throat> to uh, the left or the right? No, it doesn't matter. I just go over it, yeah. back and forth. Yeah. I'm coming back and de even deeper into here. But you, oh. but you wouldn't want to flick over it if it's still kind of charged on the top. That's right, because otherwise you're going to irritate the person. It's not actually releasing, it's irritating because mm -hmm. you're accessing tension, but you're not getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of hate that myself because... Well, well I, I missed the question. It's, um, I asked if the flicking only after you release the tip. Okay. So like the flicking, it just causes more. Yeah, the flicking is annoying when yeah, it's not released. When it's, yeah. when it's not releasing, yeah. it's just irritating. Because yeah. yeah. you're just like bringing awareness to tension, but you're not getting rid of it. The person's kind of going, yeah, that, I'm tight there, but you're not getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you've done thoroughly here, you flick over it and it actually lets go. And then that feels nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is, like I said, the common mistake I mean, it's not even a mistake. It's just nobody really, you know, to understand. This took me a long time to understand the importance of the tips of the fingers. And, uh, you know, trying to teach people that <clears throat> is difficult because it's you physically can't always feel it uh, from doing it. You'll feel it when you receive it, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. But a beginning therapist, you know, especially, like, not used to feeling, like, subtle energy it's very difficult to go what am i doing you know here you know so right it hurts over here Why yeah <laughs> but even for the therapist you know for a student to understand like when it, when have i done enough here or or is it charged i don't know what charged means you know one way you'll learn is by doing it to yourself and you'll go okay i feel that you know oh it's letting go with your fingertips, so you can actually feel it. I, I know when I use my own fingertips, like on my toes, I could feel the band yep. more. You can definitely with a chopstick, but just that first. You can feel a band from like here somewhere if you're sensitive. Like I can feel her band physically here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Energetically, even for me, I don't feel it as a band in here, but I feel it as an energetically charged spot. And the energy, energetic charge, what we call charge, is what creates tension because when you think about it like if you think about it almost somewhere between like <coughs> the substance that creates something to be tight if we think about that in the nature of somewhere between electricity and a gas if we pump up a tire like we can't see air but we can pump up a tire and it becomes hard right so a gas when you compress it becomes hard and that's what i think whatever this substance is that's making a muscle tight or not even a, just a muscle, but, well, it does make muscles tight, but this is what we, underneath it, it's somewhere of the nature of electricity or a gas or somewhere in between those two. And yet it also, like, like I said, it can be um, repressed emotion. So what is the nature of repressed emotions on a subtle physical level, right? That you can't see. That you can't see. Yeah, so it's like, emotions. it's all, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. all sort of stuff. Or you can't, can't see the chi, you know, it's the, the, the blocked chi, the blocked energy, you know. Yeah, just like you can see heat, like in a but mirage a in the form. desert, if you look at a road, you can see the effect of heat on the, between the road and the air, and it all becomes 
Do you know what I mean? Like, like it kind of, even though that's, you know, if you got up close, you wouldn't, that's not how the air appears, but it's something of that nature, okay? Wow. Oh, so she's so good to work on. I'll tell you, it's just like, I mean, she just breathes so well. And it's just like the tension, even though, yeah, she's tight, but it's just like, it evaporates. But, but that's also because I'm just, she's given me so much breath to work with. Because it's not just being a green light. Because some people are green lights, but if they don't know how to breathe deeply, they don't have breath capacity to actually move the stuff, okay? So we need to... Look at that. We're getting incredible, incredible, like. And that makes you happy, doesn't it? The fucking love it. Oh, it's like, yeah. it's, it's, the, it's the, <laughs> the highlight of my work, like a job well done, you know? <laughs> kind of get proud of that finger, you know? <laughs> it's, it's her finger, but you know what I mean? I kind of, <laughs> it's kind of mine right now a little bit. <laughs> But no, she did a lot of the work, really, as well. It's a partnership model. We created this finger. Re recreate, <laughs> recreated this finger. Uh, renovated it together. Have you just been on that one finger the whole time? Yeah, and I'm almost ready to move on because I'm actually finding that I've got rid of all, almost, like, kind of like 90% of the tension in that finger already. I'm just more looking for that last 10% now. Mm -hmm. I might just do it, like, and I'm finding it in here. Mm -hmm. And again, this is a bit wider, and I can actually, it feels a little bit mm. less cutting than the chopstick to move it, you know, whereas a chopstick I tend to hold or just move it across the skin. This can, you know, somebody with dry skin, it would still be a bit uncomfortable. Is this okay on your skin? Is it, it's, it's not too, yeah. this is where again, any little bits of the, you know, whatever we, we, we want to call them, the uh, crystal, crystallized calcium or what have you, is going to, be pushed back into the blood here yeah, you got a few of them yeah yeah I can feel breaking up, up. Breaking up. Yeah. yeah exactly yeah and so you know with Cindy because she you know her obviously she's in a lot her hands are in a lot better shape than a lot of ours it's more gonna be this is gonna be fantastic just so that she keeps them this way mm -hmm. and especially as a massage therapist you know it's like <clears throat> otherwise tensions gonna build on this and you know Whereas if we do this regularly, and this is the ultimate thing that, you know, should be done for every, everybody, but also especially every massage therapist because we're using our hands, right? Mm -hmm. And we want to keep them really nice and loose because after I loosen up her hands, guess what? She's going to be able to do better massage and, and be able to move her hand better, to have strength in her hand mm -hmm. and not to feel like, oh, it's cramping up when I do a particular move, which... You know, I've certainly felt happen in my hands before. If, they, if I allow them to get too tight, it's like, okay, my hands are too tight to massage other people. What I'm doing with this thumb, because there's a tendency for it to kind of fall off the, the side, I'm using this as a buffer so that if it falls, it hits my thumb and stays on track here on this band. So just doing a little bit of fine, just because it's rare to get that opportunity to kind of almost 100% release a, mm -hmm. a digit. So I'm kind of like, kind of, it's kind of exci exciting. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like, I can we get, like, can we get like 100% out of this sure, finger? Yeah. You know, <laughs> like I feel like we're at like 90% it's something. Very, and I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, let's just see what happens if we can get 100. I, I want to see like that 100% result too. Like, yeah. yeah. So how... How often does that happen for you, Brandon? That somebody that, like that I could get this quick a result? No, just in general, like how uh, no matter how many treatments that somebody comes to the end stop and then oh, they... I could probably do it. Except like like I say, on really elderly people, like 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 you know, with Phyllis, if her joints are completely fused, or other elderly people where the joints fuse, I'm not going to get that hundred percent. She's obviously younger. But I mean, in your in your practice. Have, well, I don't really, you know. Well, you're not practicing now. The, yeah, the, that's the problem. I'm teaching in courses, and so I don't get enough time with people, you know. Um, but 
and I, and years ago when I did have a practice, I wasn't using the chopsticks and things like that, so I wasn't getting I as mm -hmm. thorough so you, a result. Your, In my courses, experience. maybe yeah. four to five percent of people would get. I could get like a this just out of a couple hours. Yeah, less than like three, four. You know, rare. That people are in as good as, but it, it does happen, you know, definitely three out of a hundred or something, three or four. But it's, it's, it's kind of, you know. I would imagine when people, because this it happens just for me from what I do, um, you know, when you make them feel better, even like 50%, it feels like 100% because they were so miserable, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 because they, they're comparing to what they were before, yeah. but I'm actually talking about, yeah, like to the point where I go, well, I can't find any more tension. Uh -huh. I'm almost there. I'm not quite there, but I'm like I'm literally getting close to that stage of going. Time to move to the next finger because not because we're running out of time, but because I can't find any more tension. I'm just finding little bits at the moment, mm -hmm. but I'm still just getting that. I'm at, at the eighty to ninety percent for sure. You know where. It, so it's been like almost twenty-two minutes. And what? Do you, how do you feel, Cindy, about That's it? Great. Like it's, it feels. Like it's not loose. annoying to be on one no. little finger for the no. whole thing. Oh no, she's enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. And she's also, don't forget, she's no, like, rookie to, to right. receiving. She's been watching. She's come all the way from Texas to, to get this. You know what I mean? It's kind of yeah. like, you know, she's like, please release my, you know. For sure. So, you know, oh, we gotta, you felt that click? Yeah. yeah. So now I'm moving up from the finger into this area. And then we got fresh tension here. Yeah. <laughs> But it's going to actually dissipate really quickly, even though it's definitely tight. But yeah. she can breathe it. She can. We can because we've released this finger, and we got another big click out of that knuckle. See, sometimes I burp because I know I need to burp, but it also lets the person feel comfortable that if they need to burp, they can burp, you know? It's kind of even like Michael was saying yesterday, once you can fart in somebody, you feel more comfortable, you know? <laughs> it's very true, you know? Because some people, they'll have to hold in a burp they'll have, for social reasons, or they're holding in a fart. You're trying to massage their abdomen, somebody's holding in a fart, it's just like you're fighting against them, you know? Whereas if you just go, just let it out, it'll be all right, you know? It's not worse. I always say I'm a, you know, having had four children and done a hell of a lot of diapers and cleaning, you know, I'm a professional asshole cleaner. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's my second job, you know what I mean? <laughs> Any parent will identify with that, you know? But, you know, like nurses have to deal with all that kind of stuff, right? right? It's nothing compared to what a nurse has to deal with, somebody farting on the table, you know? Yeah. So I'm just now, hold, I'm just letting her breathe into this spot. And it's just, it's just dissipating. Even though it's tight, it's dissipating with every breath that she takes. It's just letting go more and more. And then it'll come to a point where it doesn't let go more because I haven't done that finger. And I could even move the hand into it. So I'm holding on both sides, but I can then kind of move the hand into that, picking up a little bit there. Now this is the lung area in reflexology, so it's even going to help her breathe deeper, probably. And then coming out, stretching the finger. Do you guys want to have a feel of that finger compared to the other ones? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah, that's why it's, it's, it's really nice to, you know, when you've been dealing with so many tight fingers and tight toes and, you know, and you got your own oh, tight yeah. toes and, you know, to feel one that oh feels God. actually wonderfully wow. loose. It's, wow. I can feel it. Yeah. It's like a huge difference. Huge difference. Oh, my God, yeah. Right? Have a feel, Michael. Oh, sorry. Do you know which one I worked on? This one or yeah. The really red one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my god. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like rubber. I know, it's like rubber. It's so satisfying, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you can just overcome your own jealousy for it. You yeah, know? I exactly sound like, damn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so now I'm coming to the next finger and I'm like, whoa, this one yeah. <laughs> feels quite tight, yeah. you know what I mean? It's that fresh tension. I'm like, oh, you yeah. know, it's definitely like. So we just do like, you know, like, like it's possible if I got her in for two hours that I could completely loosen her hand up in two hours. Sure. You know, so you know if I did a treatment plan for her, like uh, like arms and if I do her hands this well, her arms will just come away so easy. Mm -hmm. I'd need five minutes on her arms. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all I'd spend. Nice. My, most of the work. If I did a two-hour treatment on your hands, mm -hmm. I'd do the vast majority. Yes. Yeah. And I because guess. she's kind of chilled, I didn't have to spend any time on her head. And and because she's breathing so well, it's not like I'm getting this backlog of trapped energy that's that's pooling it's just all coming out so we got this really smooth you know this is more an example of a, about as good a treatment as you you know and working with your like sort of like the rhythm and flow too yeah. you're working with her breath and working her flow with her breath it's a so, dance yeah and you know yeah so she's got two great combinations in receiving she's obviously very much a green light really good well three really good at breathing and she's watched a lot of my videos and knows exactly what she, what it's all about what to expect, what to expect. there's no kind of like ooh, 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 mm -hmm. what's gonna happen blah 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 you know mm -hmm. going on she's just like thank you brandon i really enjoyed this <laughs> yeah. you know i'm so grateful that you're getting rid of my tension you know oh, yeah, for sure. so that's just like it, mm -hmm. that's about as good as you can get then I, then my job is just to get in here and, and, and bring awareness to where it is and work with her breath. Mm -hmm. And and at first, each of course, at first, like, I gotta, you know, I'm not going in as hard as I was by the end of that other finger, because this is fresh tension, you know, and I can feel. When you release a finger like that and you got something to compare to, it's like, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, I don't think I've, I mean, none of us have been able to release something. So. As well as that, yeah. 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 So it's nice that, to feel that's really feel at the 90 90 yeah, percent really you know what I mean and that's you know. that as an example to feel yeah thank you Cindy yeah <laughs> thank y'all <clears throat> but this is really charged right in here mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna just make sure that I'm not overwhelming her because I know I'm coming up like a nine uh -huh. yeah. yeah I could just watch her face I don't always have to ask her you know mm -hmm. We can see, you know, and I'm easing off, and the, the difference mm -hmm. between when I'm first working on this fingers, mm -hmm. by the time, and I was, they're all about the same tightness. Um, that looks pretty deep, though. Yeah. But I was getting in way deeper by the end on that one. Like, like way deep. This is like hitting her charge pretty quick. You can see I'm actually loosely holding the chopstick, mm -hmm. whereas before, you know, just to access that because it's so charged. But she's just, and even here, I'm almost loose, very loosely holding it. But that breath is just, the breath is what's doing it. You know, she's just breathing in and we're, we're, we're working together. I'm, she, there's no resistance. There's no kind of like, but I'm also respecting her nines and working, mm -hmm. working at what she can breathe into. And we just let the breath do the work. I bring awareness. She breathes it out. Good partnership model, you know, and then we just need time. And then I see her breath rate increasing a little bit. So then I might even just, you know, maybe take the chopstick off. Still, oh, click, deep click was great. Just do something else until I see that breath rate slow down a little bit. So I'm working her at her maximum capacity. She's processing it. <clears throat> now it's just like ultimate, it's just the ultimate. In, uh, and then it's just a case of just doing it and uh, but I'm still just gonna wait for that breath to catch up a little bit. You can just do some more moderate stuff, you know. Should only feel like a three or four. And and it, it but it's good for me, because now I'm diagnosing each of these bands at the same time. While I'm giving her a little rest from the intensity, I'm feeling all the different bands. This is kind of like then I'm planning in my head what to how to work, you know, how much what to do it's like okay this is quite tight here i need to do this i need to do that and i'm just 
while I'm letting her breath catch up. And then I just occasionally just come back and just bring my smile back to my face and go, wow. <laughs> this is what we're doing, you know? Rather, you can get caught up and go, oh, this is hard work, you know? And then you go, oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> and plus for her, you know? But she's, you know, we know she's, she's doing well, she's green light. So, you know, that breath has started to kind of process and catch up. Right back in where you left yeah, still pretty charged in there, and mm -hmm. I, no point in going. But I'm going in a bit deeper now. And I'm there. We go. We're, now I'm going in. I'm actually holding that chopstick with a little tiny bit of strength, and I'm just pinpointing it. I'm changing the angle ever so slightly, and I'm aware. I'm not just doing it like unconsciously. I'm like consciously, like a like directing a laser beam into a. Uh, area and it's like the subtlest movements but she's feeling them right because i feel every time i move within this micro millimeter space about that charge and some of it's coming in when you do this point really thoroughly then the rest of it becomes a lot easier and if you don't do this point thoroughly now i'm moving slightly and you can see the difference right fresh tension and it was only like a millimeter towards the nail and even just changing the angle of the chopstick you can see that intensity you know? again watching her breath going okay if I got more she got more than she and then now as as it eases off I'm gonna start to do some circular movements in there to stimulate that change the angle again but always watching now I can see I'm sort of you know hitting up, up there I'm gonna ease off a bit again <clears throat> and just let her and then just do some other it's getting there it is yeah just patience and perseverance mm. <clears throat> those once you get you know it's just you can't rush it because if you rush it you can't rush her breath she's already breathing as best as she can there's nothing more that I know of that we can do to make this quicker. Okay, it's just. This I think is it's going really well. I do too. This is unbelievable. The, the figs, beautiful. Aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they really are. Uh, yeah, Super they are. Good. yeah. Now I'm starting to come down here because I did work that end point really well, so I'm just. This is a very charged point on a lot of people that you can work is sometimes I work between here and then I go to here. Mm. Or I can come into here and eventually I'll do both of them and just like that point as you curve around and then moving it. And I'm moving a bit quicker now, but because I spent that, but it's still very tight in here. As she breathes in. Oh. And again, coming up to here. Haven't worked here yet. This is a sensitive area, mm -hmm. but it's also that she's a bit tight in there. Mm -hmm. We're getting more little micro clicks and things, and that joint's now starting to really be able to move side to side, so we're not getting any of that tight. But I'm gonna let her breathe. I might. That, I know that one's really charged, so I'm gonna come in and just do this one. This is also really charged, but it just gives her a rest from that other one.
How have you been enjoying the class, Cindy? Uh, yeah, it's been great. Good. Learned a lot. And I'm definitely, like, receiving it. It's like putting it all together. Like, mm -hmm. I understand it from a different perspective. That's right. Receiving, like, yeah. It just puts it all together. And you're going to sure. be opening your own practice in Houston and Texas? Absolutely. Great. Yes. So if anybody wants to get a treatment from you, I'll, we'll put your details when you get them. Oh, in the, yes. in the comments yes. section Thank of the you. website. Absolutely. Do you have a website where we can sign up? To, yeah, rainermassage.com backslash graduates. Oh. So I encourage yeah. you guys all to send the details. and Because I get a lot of people from YouTube asking me, oh, have you got anybody here? You got anybody there? Mm -hmm. and, and then we had a lot of, you know, during COVID, a lot of people stopped practicing or moved. And, we, you know, I haven't gone through it all and got rid of all the old contacts that aren't working. So please get me your details if you want some business. So coming down this one. Let's see if I can feel this other diagonal band that Corey sometimes wants. But here I'm, I'm going to actually, because her skin's kind of moist, it's not too dry. That doesn't feel too cutting, does it, if I use the chopstick moving no, it? No, Yeah, it feels yeah. like it should be okay. I'm again getting all those little crystally bits mm. and moving them back into the bloodstream. even give her a little rest from the chopstick and we'll just see what we can do with this and I'll just go with this one I just go through the whole area basically mm. and just find anything that's because it's broad enough where you can eventually just cover every little bit of mm -hmm. so these two fingers come up into the upper shoulder well, they're going to be more part of the inner wristband and, and the outer wristband, which then comes up into our neck. So through here is going to be outer wrist. Through here is going to be inner wrist. So somebody could be tight right in here to start with. And I'm mm. telling you, if you get these fingers completely loose, that'll 90% of that will evaporate. And then mm. you just come in here and the, the other 10% goes. Yeah, as you were pressing somewhere, I could feel like... Well, I'm in my other fingers too, but like in my bicep. Yeah. At some point I was like, mm, and it just felt to follow. Yeah. Yeah, and that's uh -huh. the outer wristband yeah. you're feeling. Yeah. yeah. And all this feels like it's just kind of, it's actually melting away. I'm not rubbing up against tight stuff that's not moving mm -hmm. because I did that point really thorough. And the whole, this finger is now almost getting more like that one mm -hmm. than it was to start with. I'm more than 50, more than 50% of the way is what I feel. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. She's handling that really well because that can be quite uncomfortable for a lot of people. Oh.
even though of course it's still tiring for me i actually quite enjoy working on on somebody like this because it is a work of art you know it's just brings a great satisfaction to to me to to get in there and completely i mean it's just one it's just you know it's the ideal right it's like what this is what we're trying to do you know yeah don't get used to it no, I know. We're going to work on you. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are going to work on me. <laughs> As I say, you got to put it, put that jealousy aside and go, you know. Let's just help her. But at the same time, it's also, it's very, because even if, okay, it takes longer, say, for you or for me to get, you know, you're not going to get, my fingers aren't going to work like this either, you know. But maybe it doesn't take 20 minutes. Maybe it takes two hours. Maybe it takes four hours. It doesn't matter in a sense. Okay, but whatever. Let's do the four hours. Commit to the process and get it done because it's the best thing in life. Well, I think it's one of the best things in life uh, to be have a loose body. I mean, you know, like it's not, there's not many things I can think of, you know, not in the material sphere. Coming back into that spot now. So if someone's fingers um, or toes are super, 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 super charged, mm -hmm. you can barely touch them, but they're willing to let you, would you just do your fingers first on them? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to try to desensitize them. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. chopsticks are pretty intense, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Not everybody's ready for that, you know? And would you, if you only had an hour and a half, I'd set my goal as one finger. Really? I, I, unless they go, oh, that's too much, it's so sore, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then I go, okay, let's move on. But I know that's just how I am. I kind of rather do one thing thoroughly, like really focused. And, and mm -hmm. otherwise, I mean, people, we got 20 digits, most of us, right? Yeah. That's a lot, you know, in an hour. Mm -hmm. What, you, that, you know, even if you, that's no head massage, nothing else. That's 20 divided by, you know, 60 divided by 20. That's three minutes without the moving, you know, on each. Mm -hmm. you, you're just getting started in the three minutes. Yeah. That's if you just did the toe, no, no legs, no arm, no, you know what I mean? It's too much. It's trying to take a big job. That's a, a, I would rather just be focused. I kind of enjoy that, that focused and go, let's take this job in a bite-sized piece. That's just how I am now. I know a lot of people are very much used to the whole body, mm -hmm. got to have the whole body done. Well, wouldn't that be wonderful if you just sat there and had 30 hours in a row? But who can do 30 <laughs> hours in a row? You're going to be exhausted, right? The therapist is. Like, even if, with her, she might... I can't do both her hands in one go, let alone her feet. I'm already just on the second, you know? We're, especially in an hour. It's just all completely... It's, it's just either unrealistic to do a thorough job or you're touching on it. So if you had... Um, I don't know. I guess I... I Going back to, do we always do that? Just stay on one area, or how do you know? Besides, like the whole, hello, nice to meet you, one where you touch everybody's body part to see where their tension is. But not everybody can handle what she's handling. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I guess some that's people, my, my she's answer. not, she's not car what I call carrying on and blah blah blah, right? right? Um, and some people, it's not just that they're carrying on; it's just that they're. They're so messed up that yeah. that it. Um, I, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a judgment so on them. Years, I'm joking yeah. with that, but it's not a judgment on them. It's just so many years and inflammation. And, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you worked it, you can't get that that level done that quickly. You or have or to pace it out. They were tortured as children and stuff. Oh well, then they got their emotions. They got yeah. they got to be ready. Yeah. You know, even with emotional releases, you've got to you got to be ready, the therapist has got to be ready, the whole piece has got to come together for that right treatment where that emotion then comes out, you know? Starting to feel really happy about this finger now. <laughs> you, you can feel it, eh? it's not yeah. quite, it's, it's not quite to the stage of the other one, but it's like more like hitting yeah. that 70, 80%, you know? Sure. 
I just I, I love getting your 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 happy face when that happens. Yeah, it's yeah. Just it's like just, you know, it's, I enjoy my work mostly. Yeah. You know, if I'm, if, I really enjoy working with a green light that can breathe because <laughs> it's just I can get on with it. You know, well, she's bringing out the energy, so you don't have to accept it either. That's true. Oh. That's right, and she's really respectful yeah. of the fact she's not like, you know, breathing on me or do you know what I mean? Like, like that's the most exhausting thing is if right. somebody lets out, especially with an anger release. Yeah. Mm -hmm. bah, scream at me I was like oh fuck you know mm -hmm. aren't I doing enough for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's horrible well, I've, had, I've had people screaming, do that screaming at you though right yeah. or you, or no you're... I've had people like scream oh, like, at me you, Brandon, or... yeah and it's like I didn't yeah. I don't deserve that you know what I mean Unless like this joking, is hard enough you know? but relief. but it's not joking when it's energy directed at you yeah. it's actually it's it's exhausting and it's like wow yeah. thank you you covered me in your shit you know, <laughs> I'm like, if you got a lot of anger, great. I mean, I'll help you with it, but fucking direct it out the door, please. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it, cause it's not funny at all. It's like horrible energy, you know? So, and yeah, people used to do that with jokes about, you know, I won't even accept jokes that, oh, Brandon, you like hurting people. Oh, Brandon, you, yeah. I, I no longer accept them. Like I, I like, I like a good joke, blah, blah, blah. I'm, you know, I have my comedian side as you guys know but those kind of I'm like now nah, we're getting off on the wrong foot because behind a joke can sometimes be a serious thing and I'm like if you don't think I'm trying to help you it's too hard to work I, even this is still hard even though I'm enjoying it it's hard work but it's, I'm enjoying it because there's just none of that right she's just enjoy she's appreciating mm -hmm. what I'm doing and and so even though it is hard work for me she appreciates it and we get on we do it and you know in the end she gets the benefit right I walk away, she walks away with loose fingers. All I get is just to the fact that I helped somebody loosen their fingers, you know, but she gets to keep these fingers. But it brings that smile and joy on your face. Because that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, you know what I mean? All this fucking hard work and putting up, you know what I mean? It, this is what I'm trying to do, get people to be completely loose. And so there is a, I get a satisfaction out of doing that, but it's not for me, it's more for, I get, you know, I, I just, I enjoy helping, you know? That's it move the energy as much as work on your feet different energy gets moved it depends on where energy is trapped well, what did mm -hmm. she ask does it move the energy the same as what work on the feet does Wait, but you mean from hands to feet? yeah yeah okay. mm -hmm. no hands it, to all the body it, yeah it just okay. it depends on where energy is trapped yeah. because i'm telling you that if somebody doesn't have much trapped energy then you hardly notice the energy moving mm -hmm. energy moving is a symptom of a lot of energy blockage so it's not that the feet will move more. Most, yes, you, we could say that a lot of people have more energy trapped from their feet. That would be accurate to say, but not everybody. Mm. Some people have energy trapped in their hands. Some people don't have any real serious energy trapped or they just, she's moving the energy with her breath. Right? Each breath it's moving, it's not building up. She's not even like vibrating, you know, even though I'm getting this massive release, there's no like, you know what I mean? She's just chilling, breathing. And maybe this isn't emotional tension. Maybe she's been massaging a lot of people and her hands have become tight. That's not really her. Right. Do you know exactly. what I mean? So it's not, it's not her which energy. Which is a big difference. Right? Which is a big difference. When it's not your, it's not your, it's just like the, you could say it's physical. It could be energetic, but it's not really hers. It's not like lodged in her. It's just right. like, yeah, I picked up some energy and you know, it's kind of like me the other day, you guys could get rid of the energy I picked up within a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Like even when I was telling you, I picked up a spirit from that guy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't lodged it because it wasn't really something, you know, I was a bit open just to whatever, because I was tired at that time in my life and, you know, personal factors going on, which left me more open to picking things up. But student got rid of it three, working three hours on my big toe and I breathed it out like that. And it wasn't even that dramatic. It was just a gradual, I reclaimed my space, the thing went. What type of energy do you usually find trapped in the hands and the fingers, like the hips or a little bit of anger? You know what I mean? What, have you ever noticed any like mm -hmm. a association? It with? is less, usually less emotional. But what type of emotion? Um, just the chest in, in Chinese medicine heart. relates to grief. Yeah, and it can be heart because this, this you know, so, yeah. so, you know, there could be more likelihood of, of crying. And to the shoulders, the weight of the world feels yeah, like it's on that's your right. that sort yeah, of all thing. that kind of yeah, 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 definitely that weight of the world feeling. Yeah. I got another click out of yeah. it. Like I was like I said, I wasn't quite a hundred percent. I was like, but I came back, okay. I redid it, yeah. and we got another 
deep click out of that joint. Mm -hmm. Now I'm coming back. So I, I, I like to come back and forth too. So say the, you know, the appointment was an hour and a half and you, mm -hmm. you had spent like an hour and 10 or 15 minutes, you had 15 minutes left and you had started on the head. Mm -hmm. Would you follow the bands up to try to see what you could get out of the arm? Yeah, for like two or three minutes. Okay, and what would you do with the rest of the time if she just couldn't take any more on the Oh, if she couldn't take any more? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whatever, I'd move somewhere else. Just massage. Yeah. Just plain massage. Uh, just, yeah, just see what she could take. If she's receptive anywhere to releasing tension. Because mm -hmm. if we're trying to get here and we're down here, we could go like this, right? Or we could, I mean, the best way is to go in a straight line. But, you know, you can still get there. It's like taking country roads. If you put Google Maps in <laughs> how to get to Idaho from here, there's probably 20 different ways to get to Idaho from Vermont. And it's going to take you 36 hours of driving or 24 hours of driving or whatever, well, let's right? Say, let's say it's 10 sessions and each session I'm doing one finger. Yeah. Great. So it will be, let's say, 15 minutes for a finger and then an hour for a general, general massage. If you got a finger released in 15 minutes, you're doing exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. It depends what you're wanting to do. What I'm wanting to do is what I call complete excavation. Mm -hmm. If you want to do a bit here and a bit there, and that's okay, and some people want that, and you, you know, like I said, I'm, like with her, I'm gonna go the straightest route, like as the crow flies, mm -hmm. as they say, right? Like if mm -hmm. I'm going mm -hmm. tight, completely 100% loose. That's my goal, that's where I'm trying to reach. Um, and, and obviously, hopefully that she's trying to reach and I do believe she is right she's yeah. like she's yeah. like super on board right so we're just working together to go let's get there the quickest way possible mm -hmm. which is she deep breathes she just lets me we figure out how we can work together and we get on with it and so, if she has a motion to release she releases it if she doesn't she just deep breathes and just not 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 controls the treatment she also is accepting me as the authority in a sense, not like authority over, but I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I call so it. She's like, whatever your call is. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Makes it a hell of a lot easier because I do know yeah. it's like me being the bus driver and having passengers tell me, take a right instead of going straight mm -hmm. to get to Idaho. You know, right. if I've been to Idaho 150 times, um, I know how to get to Idaho, mm -hmm. right? And if I got a passenger who's never been there but thinks Idaho is, you know, it's like my daughter might be thinking, you know, there's somebody and, you know, like whatever. It could be anybody, right? But some, working with a controlling person, they could actually be taking you to Toronto instead of Idaho mm -hmm. when you're trying to go to Idaho, mm -hmm. if you let them drive. Because some people, especially if it's emotional-based tension, and their ego is caught up in that emotional-based tension. Mm -hmm. I've had people that are really, like, they don't want to really show that level of, that layer of the onion. They don't want off. They actually want you to go sidetrack around the onion mm -hmm. and then increase the onion by making their ego going that I'm completely loose. And you're like, and you've got to maintain your authority in that situation. You either maintain the authority and go, well, I'm sorry, we don't see the same. We don't think, we don't think, Idaho, you know, Idaho's that way. You're thinking it's that way. I'm genuinely thinking it's, I know it's that way. And you go, well, we can't work together. Or we'll go a little bit of a scenic route and we'll go halfway between Toronto and Idaho and we'll go that way. It's going to take you. But in the end, guess what? It takes longer and costs them more. Because it's like you're charging for your but time maybe they just can't handle the direct route that's right yeah so I mean, as long you as you're not going like as long as you're making saying, some you progress where, where they're at you right. know I mean, that's it's, right it's up to them yeah but, but it's also up to you as to doesn't mean you're going to discount but like you, you may go well i charge an hourly rate my time is worth 500 dollars an hour if you want to take 50 hours to get to idaho right. rather than 20 $25,000. That's right. Whereas we can do it for 10000 if you want. Yeah. It's up to you. I mean, you know, it's a little bit less satisfying. It doesn't bring a smile to my face working with those people either. Mm -hmm. Because, like, this I enjoy, you know? Because it, it's kind of like, uh, why, you know, I don't know. I just like mm -hmm. getting on, you know? Getting, mm -hmm. getting there. It's satisfying. I'm not in this just for the money, you know? I'm in this because I want to help people. But I know a lot of people need help. 
and I don't have time and energy for everybody. So I just want to, you know, ideally I'd rather just, it's just, for me, it's really nice just to work with somebody who's not controlling the treatment and just wants to get there, you know, like I know what I'm doing. I always say, shut, shut up and breathe or shut up and scream. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a paradox, is what I'm saying. Is shut the controlling mind up, yeah. uh -huh. and and whatever you know the subcon, you know. But if you want to scream, don't control that. But but shut that controlling mind up, you know. And that's that's then you can just get on with shit. Most people have a controlling mind of one nature or another. So coming back to that point. So what is it um, that? we were expecting of us on Friday then, since we're not going to be ever seeing these people again with this just to see if you can build like build the, the base point of a relationship you know like looking at, at building yeah. you, you know like that's really what the goal would be is to see if you can show them where they're tight and, and bring them from being perhaps a yellow light let's just say everybody's a yellow light that doesn't know mm -hmm. to being at least more of a green light I'm not saying an absolute green light, but at least get them like, wow, this is interesting, you know? Mm -hmm. Get that first stage, and you being here in Vermont, you could pick up clients mm -hmm. if they really love it. Mm -hmm. yeah, if far. this is the yeah. best thing ever, they might come from Burlington to where you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to do it for Geraldine. Yeah, she yeah. Helped me with my toes. So yeah, for sure. Like People will travel if they, if you can, you know, and we can, and if they're, you know, they could come up to you, you know? You're only an hour away, so, you know. Um, I know I've had, I just put the message out there to the guy that's been a long-term YouTube. He's a firefighter in Burlington and he's been asking me for years when he come into Vermont. I just remembered him last night. Oh, I was like, I was like, shit, the poor guy, him and his firefighter mates are all really oh, tight and stressed oh. out. And he's been watching my videos and, you know, so I just put a little comment and okay, hopefully he gets back to me mm -hmm. and we might get a bunch of the Burlington firefighters in. And again, that'd be awesome. somebody could come up and do a whole day working in the, bring a ma massage table, work in the fire station if they don't have an emergency. Who knows? I mean, the best thing for first responders, right? Totally. You get a whole couple of days, you know, just, oh, that mm -hmm. was the thumb. So as we released some of this tension, the thumb went again. Oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do need to use the restroom real quick. Sure. Yeah. And then we'll have a, yeah, I'm